Okay, Mr. Tom, thank you for the most recent connection or attempt to connect. It's probably um, the beginning of a mutual respectful communication. It's a pity though, you need to pay an attorney, more or less like a, a correct mouthpiece. But nonetheless, <laughs> His phone is not even so good. We shall continue the conversation. You probably figured out that Michael, you know, that guy is pissed off. Well, actually, I'm not as upset as mostly your wife could expect me to become. Shy of a cry, at least, I'm not upset enough to have a negative effect on my current life affairs. I have attached, I have attached uh, uh, an audio which you could skip now or listen to at the end of this video message. I promise you it will be interesting, but you and your attorney will need to have a seat to carefully listen to the preceding audio. I promise also it would be less graphic. So listen carefully, as you would need to read somewhat between the lines. I'm actually going to uh, add in this message uh, some chat, some text screen chats, uh, because I understand you're supposed to give me an apology. I'm still looking forward to that. I would also mention just this one quotation in your letter, your letter from your attorney, that is, which he, your attorney, in it mentioned in reference to a uh, Mr. and Mrs. Gildred, noted that is square off a joke of some sort. Interesting enough, in the second line of my note leading up to, a, to, to that, what was the response from your attorney was a specific fact which neither you or your attorney cared to address. In fact, your attorney went on to accuse me of thinly, in his conversation, of what he thought or hoped or believed to be monetary request. Extort was his word, I think. It's probably what Carolina expected after all, maybe, except perhaps Carolina's spot uh, can in all probability just subjugate that very fact of what your smart attorney is alluding to. But to you, Mr. Tom, I have not offended you. I am helping you. Your need is to calculate the cost of hiring a mouthpiece versus the value of my art, which is independent of you and the virtual reality of the costs associated with what is perhaps between you and your attorney's term, a prenuptial value. You are a businessman of some sort. You too, you too would note that a project such as what I have committed to in the last four to six months uh, of my life, that I too would have calculated any associated costs towards a break-even analysis and a timeline consistent with its profitable residuals and eventually an exit strategy. So you should be honest in any comparison of associated cost thinly or however. To be frank, I think it is thinly as your own mother will agree. It's not worth it, Mr. Tom. In essence, the cause of your stupendous emotions, it's getting dumber than dumber. Give the woman a chance to be all she can be. She loved dance before, before you. She's always loved dance. Do you want a better smarts than that? Thank you. Now take a seat and review the audio. It's one of many, but I think that's all you'll need.
Have a great day, Mr. Tom. Oh, what do you do? Freaking iPhones.